Hola, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's get into your reading, uh, Aries. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the remaining of the month. Now, your first card here is the Ace of Swords, the Devil card, the Seven of Swords, the Star card. Partners cards is the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Wands. The Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups. All right. You are definitely going towards stability in your romantic sector, Aries. With the Ace of Swords, there is communication opening up. This is new opportunities. This is an opportunity to connect with someone that is most ideal for you. This is definitely an individual that is a little bit guarded this could be a person that has gone through some type of transformation um, but i do see the clearing out you need to let go of your fears aries if you're currently dealing with a person that has you know let you down on multiple occasions you cannot be able to move forward in this relationship if you're not able to let go of the past now i know that's more easier said than done right um but what they're telling you here is if what you're trying to do is basically turn the page and start new with the individual that perhaps has hurt you or has let you down in the past, you can't, you can't fully move forward if you're not able to release what you carry from the past when we're talking about emotions. Now, for others of you, this could just represent that you've been hurt in the past. You have... It's almost like you embrace certain toxic behaviors and you kind of talk yourself down um, in the sense of, uh, you know, if you see a connection or you're vibing with someone and it, you know, it, it requires for you to put effort and time, um, certain things that are more on your shadow side start to kick in and you allow that to. Uh, to kind of change the path or route that you should be taking. Uh, with the devil card, this is about toxic behaviors. This is about sex addictions. This is about, um, you know, feeling like you have to be in control of the situation or the relationship itself. Uh, this could be jealousy. Now, this could be vice versa because it is a general reading. So this could be like the kind of uh, characters that you tend to attract um, or... It could be you, you know, pretty much evoking this type of energy. And what they're telling you is with the seven of swords, it's almost like a fear of being lied to or being hurt. And oftentimes um, you have a tendency of running away from those connections because it's almost like, well, before they hurt me, uh, let me be the one to walk away. Let me be the one. Whenever you feel that a situation is changing, as an example, if you're dealing with someone and you guys are communicating amazingly and you're texting and calling each other and all of a sudden it starts to like stop or they get busy with their lives and things are a little bit chaotic, you the moment you sense change, you start to freak out. You start to think in a negative way. And it's almost like with the Seven of Swords energy, a feeling of like, uh, I have to watch my back before they hurt me. I'm not going to allow them to hurt me. So I just walk away or you start to pull away. And what they're telling you here with the star card is your love life is being illuminated. You are being guided towards the person or individual that is, you know, going to make you fulfilled. Um, if at this point you feel like you've been dating multiple people and it just hasn't panned out, what they're saying is there, there's more to just the physical connection. And that's, that's kind of like, um, that's something that you need to understand. If all you have in a connection is physical attraction towards each other, where does that end? Well, it doesn't, it doesn't go very long. Um, because once you grow tired of the person or, or once, you know, the desire to have them is no longer there or is no longer prominent, um, you kind of lose interest, right? Because there's nothing other than that that you guys have in common. So 
when you do find these connections, when you feel that you have a lot of similarities or a lot of things in common with uh, the person of your interest, it kind of scares you. And like I said, the moment you sense change, it's like you'd rather just be the one to cut to cut ties or cut communication. And what they're telling you is you need to stop doing this behavior. Now, how your partner, the person of your interest is viewing you at the present time, they are a little bit guarded. I do see them a little bit in their head. But with the Page of Wands and the Knight of Cups, it's communication that is opening up. Opening up and they're very receptive to your energy. They're very receptive to the opportunity of taking it, uh, seeing where it goes. With the Two of Cups, they are definitely feeling you. They're definitely in their emotions. They have or feel a connection towards you. Um, and I feel that for the remaining of November going into December, for those of you guys that are single, you're definitely going to be having people around or wanting to get your attention. Um, really trying to, I see a specific individual though, trying to manifest a relationship with you. If you feel that at this point, that's not the person you want, that's not the person that you're, you know, wanting to have a relationship with. You need to be honest with them, Aries. You need to stop stringing them along. Uh, and the reason I say that is with the star card, it does represent illumination towards this aspect in your life, which is your romance. But whatever energy you're putting out, that's exactly what you're going to be experiencing. So again, it could be a scenario where you're kind of stringing someone along because you feel like you don't have options right now. And the moment this new person comes in, it, it they really gravitate towards you and you really gravitate towards them and you kind of let the other person in the back burner. Um, and then you're going to be left feeling like the person that you chose over them uh, is the one that's going to be pulling away. Do you see what I'm saying? So... If you're dealing right now with someone that you're not as interested or you don't want to uh, proceed uh, or make anything of this connection, don't string them along. Be honest with them. You want people to be honest with you. You need to be honest with other people as well. So again, I do see love potential here. I do see a connection. Um, if it's you, the one that usually, you know, doesn't really want to put the effort if you really step up your game, Aries, and you open yourself up, you're going to be very surprised that this person is very receptive and that they're also going to be willing to put effort in this connection. Okay. All right, my lovelies, let's see what Spirit's direct message for you is for this month of November going into first week of December. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to their love and romance spirit. So we have the unrequited love. There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And that's exactly what I was sensing. I feel that for some of you guys, you have this connection with someone that they may be the one that really wants to take it to the next level and you just don't feel that. But for some of you guys, it's like you're holding on to that for now because you feel like Either you don't have options or you feel like you just don't want to be alone. And what they're telling you here is, again, if we're just talking about the attraction or the physical aspect, if there's nothing of substance there, then it's not going to go anywhere. Um, now, if this is you, the one that's putting effort and the person you're dealing with is not really emotionally receptive or they're not really telling you where they want this connection to go it could be that you've invested enough time in this situation which by now you should know where you stand with them and if you don't or if you're questioning how they feel about you it's time for you to move on and embrace this new beginning that's coming towards you with this new individual um that is definitely going to be more receptive and again like i said you guys are going to have more things in common so i hope this gives you guys some type of clarity and insight I want to wish you guys the very best. Happy holidays, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.